Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a service account in, in a Kubernetes cluster. First of all, what is a service account? Uh, when we do anything with the Kubernetes cluster, um, you are really going through the API and it, there has to be some kind of authentication mechanism to, to, to communicate and to give instructions to the API to do get something done. That authentication is, is done through tokens. Those tokens are associated with service account. For example, if we have a pod that's getting getting created, if you're talking to the scheduler to get a pod created, though all of those transactions have to be authenticated through a token. So, um, so much so much of these things are actually uh, abstracted out that we don't see it. It just happens automatically. But under the hood, there's service accounts. For example, default namespace has service account that automatically is, is used unless we specify otherwise to create pods, for example. So anyway, so I'm going to show you how to create a service account. I am connected to a cluster right now. We can do this through a um, command line as well, but right now we, we're going to do sh use YAML because that's what typically is used for production and in, in, in staging and whatnot. So I have several examples of YAML for service account. They're very, very simple. It's one of the simplest things you can have in Kubernetes uh, configuration is in, in YAML. So let's look at that. So let's do first example. As you can see, it's very short. Uh, it, it tells you what API version we're going to use, the kind, that's service account, and literally a name. It does more than that, but that's all you need to create one. So I'm going to do a kubectl apply minus f that file. Now you can see this already created. We can confirm that by doing this. SA is a short name for service account. There is two. There's a default one that I mentioned, and there is full service account that I just created. Now, if we take a look inside that, we can say k get sa foo service account. Easy to see. It's easier. It's easier to read if we do a JSON format. And as you can see here, there's more than just the name. The create time annotation that are put in is is part of the namespace default. Um, there's an EUID that goes with it, but in more, most importantly, it has a secret. This is a token that is associated with the service account. When somebody uses the service account to do anything, this is the token that will be supplied so that so you don't see the token, you just see the service account getting supplied to it. So under the hood, the token is actually what gets authenticated, does the guest authentication done. I hope this video was useful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. That really helps me out, and we will see you next time.